Hello everybody. In this video session, we talk about a cluster of formulas who are hovering around the concept of counting. So we have before us a couple of formulas called count A. A stands for all, count all. Count blank, as the name suggests, it's going to count the blanks in a given array. Uh, the count, simply count, we'll see the difference between count versus count A. And a separate uh, formula count ifs. I'll just be brief about that formula count if, but I'll be going into detail as we progress to the next few sections and lectures. To start with, what is count A? If I double click on this cell containing 7, notice count A is a formula which has just captured an array, a series of values, and is just counting the cells which has some sort of content inside them. So for example, there are 4 plus 3 in total 7 filled up cells. In case there is a space in one of these blank cells, it also counts that. So it means count A, count all, including space, including uh, number, alphanumeric, whatever it finds out. So there are currently 10 counts in the given array. Compared with count, count A versus count, count is a formula which only counts the specific cell instances where numbers exist. For example, in this case, out of the 10 cells, which I'm going to highlight right now, there is one cell which has a word called check. It has not counted that and count formula has just been what? 9. Of course, goes without saying that if it's a blank cell, it will not be counted. So it counts only the number of cells which has numeric values inside them, numbers stored as number. Now, on the other hand, a formula count blank quite often used to find out whether in a given series of data, how many cells contain nothing. So count blank, as I double click on this digit 3, it says in this array there are two in total three blank cells. And by the way, in case there were any space, it will be counted as a non-blank. In this case, hence showing you answer 2. Now, often it also does happen that you wish to count based on a specific criteria. Although I'll be talking about count if formula in greater detail later, but right now just want to give a brief overview. So I wish to find out how many yes instances are there in the given data. So I write count ifs equal to count ifs. Notice I'm writing that extra s to indicate count if s. From our discussions on shortcut key, I'm pressing control A and it tells me I need to choose a criteria. So criteria is going to be the letter yes and the criteria range is going to be the entire range where possibly yes can be found. So as usual, I'm going to press F4 to ensure that the entire range is locked. So criteria is yes and criteria range is the entire array of values which contains yes, no, all mixed up. So there are four instances of yes. And in fact, if I write letter uh, word no, notice there are two instances of no. If I write incomplete, let's see what is the answer going to be incomplete. Oh yes, there are four instances of incomplete. So this is just a cluster of formula which talks about count and now you know the difference between all. So as we progress with some more project data, we will be differentiating and using accordingly. Those were count formulas.